I've been really happy with my set of tools lately, so I decided that they wouldn't hurt to have a mending on them. So I'm currently heading down to uh, Silent Whisper, he has a mending villager, and I was thinking to myself, well, it's not nice to kind of just trade with his villager and uh, potentially block him off and like, then you have to go through the trouble of unblocking him. So what I decided that I'll just steal the entire villager instead. Okay, we're at Silent. And he's here, I'm pretty sure he didn't notice me, so... I'm just gonna pop a... Night uh, Invisibility. Am I? Yeah, I'm invisible. Awesome. He probably didn't notice. Oh, shucks. Um... I am not here! Yes, I am not... No, I'm not... <laughs> Is he sleeping with... <laughs> Is he sleeping with the things on him? And... you. <laughs> he has no idea. He has no idea. How do I get in there? So like it's one of those librarians. So this li oh, there, there, there he is. There he is. That's the guy. That's the guy. That's our ticket. Okay, okay, okay. How do I? I really shouldn't have. I really didn't think this through. He, is he still? He's still down there. So he's not looking at me. It's night. Uh, so. Oh my god, there's phantoms in the... Oh no. Okay, it seems Silent, silent went to to sleep. Okay. <laughs> oh god, he looks... He looks like he's like he's sleep, sleep drinking. Dude, this is not healthy, okay? <laughs> well, after many, many, many a plethora of shenanigans, I managed to <laughs> seclude this guy in a boat. And Silent is out there. Yep. <laughs> let's go. Let's go poke him. He probably noticed us. He's pro he might have noticed us. I mean, that's kind of what I've been getting at this whole time. Quick! Run! <laughs> run away! <laughs> so, I'm just up here at the top of my tree and like I just notice this villager just coasting away on his own. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> oh, I just realized that I'm invisible, so he doesn't even see me, he just sees this random villager <laughs> rowing away from him. What? What the hell? <laughs> what? Was that? Was that my mending villager? Did someone just steal my mending villager? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now to go grab all of my, em my emeralds and exchange them for this sweet, sweet Mendian. I... <laughs> I feel like I just got robbed. Uh... No! <laughs> Was that... Okay, there's... There's only the Mending Villager in here now. That must have been the other librarian or the cartographer. And... Oh, rubber band? Wait, uh... ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! I GRABBED THE WRONG ONE! <laughs> well, that entire thing was a mistake. Yeah. Uh, Silent behind the scenes actually uh, admitted to me that he didn't really want that cartographer anyway and allowed me to keep it, uh, which I was planning to. I was planning to. I, I wanted to use him to make... Uh, villager breeder out of the two villagers that I already have, so you need three usually for a villager breeder to walk and um, that didn't work out because the, the cartographer ultimately got eaten by zombies. Whoops. Uh, yeah, that was kind of unfortunate, but the reason he even got eaten by zombies was not my sheer incompetence, but just, you know, my some incompetence. You see, lately I've been expanding my base. Expanding my base and working on it in all of the uh, all of the, all of the point, points of it, I don't know, branches of it, all of, all of the sides of it, really. Uh, right now, if we exit the throat of the uh, skull, of the base skull, you will notice that this part here suddenly changed. Uh, the skulls are gone, uh, temporarily, I, I will be putting them back, it's just I wanted them to move them uh, higher up into the, into the entire structure. And on top of that, now the tower, the main tower, has two horns sticking out of it, holding up the, my main nether portal. 
that thing is friggin amazing and I absolutely love it uh, even though the horns are unfinished and uh, to be completely honest with you I already kind of basically hired pixel roofs to figure them out for me since I'm not that good at uh, building natural things uh, we're currently yeah we're teleporting on top of it because I want you guys to take a look see it's friggin amazing check this out look at it this is so Sauronish, so freaking amazing, I love it. This fits my entire idea of, you know, being the Dark Lord of the Sower for a season, just incredibly well. And I love every second of it, and I can't wait for Pix to actually fix up the second haunt for me. This thing actually was already uh, basically in this state by the time the last uh, video, uh, the Sad Vanilla video released uh, on my channel. And yeah, that is something I really wanted to talk to you about, really, is uh, how lately I've been approaching the decidedly Vanilla videos on this channel. Um, you see, Recently, I started doing very short, uh, very short, very funny, in my opinion, at the very least, in my pretense, uh, episodes of DV. One of them actually had something to do with boop, this thing out here that I'll be trying out with you right now because it's freaking fun. I didn't mention this particular way of using it in the mini, but apparently this is quite a, you know, legitimate use uh, way of transportation. And while it's not necessarily more effective than just using rails and not being a joke about it, but <laughs> at the same time, I'm having so much freaking fun using it that I can't really uh, say that it's not worth, in other words, like trying out. But yeah, that's what I've been wa uh, willing to ask you about. How do you f guys feel about the mini episodes and general direction of the channel that I took uh, lately? Because another thing I've been doing with it is I I've been making those. Uh, I'm currently on the second episode of my theory series, which, to be completely honest with you, I was hoping to get uh, really, really going. So, if you haven't checked it out, please do. Please do. It would be really nice of you. And at the same time, I honestly feel like those kind of sum up my Minecraft experience uh, rather well in the latest years. And uh, they're basically, yeah, a very good gateway uh, content for my channel that I'm I'm having re really high hopes for. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, enough with that meta behind the scenes crap. Um, you guys are here to see me muck about villagers this time, right? I mean, you probably aren't, but uh, that's what you're gonna get. So let me just go... Oh, oh, you want to know why, why, why isn't there a corridor in here? Well, because I needed a place to put my super smelter into. This is a super smelter design, it's very basic, you just pull, pull a lever. Minecraft start going, unless, you know, the server is overloaded and everybody is online and entities keep lagging, but that's just, yeah, that's just me kidding around. Uh, there's minecart uh, going back and forth, they distribute evenly all the, you know, all the supply and all the, you know, smelting material. This site... I use for insanely large amounts of smelter raging because it's entirely fueled by lava buckets. Uh, this side I use for you know just random little odd jobs uh, because it's fueled fueled mostly by kelp and coal and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, I just felt like placing it in here instead of uh, that area of the base where I have the uh, the automated potion brewer because you see here at at one point I had a 44 funans array which I disassembled and uh, remade into a 20 furnace array because I realized that I never will have enough items to feed 44 furnaces um, just entirely anyway anyway uh, that's all uh, that's all doesn't matter yet because especially because the corridor that was on this side of the uh, of the room actually never went anywhere yeah it's still right there check it out well that was kind of rude um, here you go, you got a nice villager face on the other side, and uh, you can even go backwards, if you would really want, but why would you? Why would you? Anyway, uh, this is uh, how, what my other part of the base looks like. Uh, according to the map on this very fancy wall that I created recently, um, this is actually underneath a giant circle that I again recently placed, because nowadays I just do everything off camera, okay? 
<laughs> yes, yeah, sorry. This week has been crazy for me. I didn't get any time to actually record anything. So I really want this to be a bit of a catching up episode. I hope you don't mind if I just chat you, uh, walk you through all the stuff that I did and just chat about it for a while. Um, right now, the base looks like this. There's, a, there's the portal that we recently visited, then there's the spine, then there's the main circle, which will be basically the main necromancer castle once we get to it. At the moment I simply don't have enough smelted uh, stone. This is the skull obviously, so we went there and we went bloop, and now we're here and uh, yeah, this spine basically correlates with that tunnel right there leading all the way to con uh, to the one lever that controls my mob spawner you basically flick it and stuff starts spawning and uh, being flushed down and all that kind of fancy stuff we won't be doing that right now because screw doing that it's laggy and also everybody is online we won't even get any cool uh, any cool drops uh, but again, again, uh, that's not the only thing I did. I also added, obviously, the villager face. And on the other side of it, there's this room, which I honestly have no purpose for right now. I might rework it later into a villager holding cells, like uh, a trading hall, where each uh, I, each like segment of it, how many? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So, twelve of them will be holding uh, vi my favorite villagers, and at the same time. Behind this wall right here, there's my holding containment for the two I already got. A farmer and a nitwit, who I cannot breed up because there's no sunlight and also because there's no dues. So these guys will be quite a challenge, right? Pulling them from underneath the ground uh, all the way up just to uh, make sure that I still can place dues around my base. But more importantly, we can't really breed them up because there's only two of them. Any villager design, uh, villager breeder design nowadays uses at the very least three. Uh, we'll need another villager to constantly detect the dudes surrounding them. So you guys better get busy, or else you you two will get fe fed to zombies and all that kind of stuff. They, they are actually incredibly lucky that they actually survived in my base so far. In fact, just to ensure their survival in a mostly zombie-dominated area, let me just grab a uh, grab a dispenser and a couple things out of the out of the chest. Uh, let's uh, camouflage them to a certain degree. Okay, uh, you are gonna be the one with the butcher head. <laughs> <laughs> ah, doesn't really fit you, but don't worry. It's, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out somehow. It, it's fine. It's fine. Nobody will recognize you. No one will uh, suspect a thing, <laughs> and you're gonna be a drowned. Although you know, being a nitwit is already bad enough. Um, boop, bangy, and there we go. Yeah, we'll just tell everybody that that's not a nose and is actually just a tongue sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> so here comes the boring part, and that's kind of where I'm kind of fed up with those guys already. Uh, we have the doors. That's four doors. That's not nearly enough, actually. So what were you thinking? Uh, you needed at very least six, I'm pretty sure. Uh, five to six. Uh, you need to properly uh, breed your uh, two villagers into becoming three villagers. And hopefully that this uh, little fence that I'm building around them will hold off the zombie hordes, which again, there's not that many of those actually on this uh, island when you really live on it uh, for a while, because I mostly sleep the nights away, I rarely even AFK at night. So yeah, you guys are relatively safe and if you not just pull your zombie heads down <laughs> better maybe that will trick some idiot into not eating you alive um, and yeah we need to also let you guys go uh, if we're planning on make you willing to breed nowadays so how does it go a stack and a half of carrots for one single baby sounds okay should be okay. Uh, could probably make this guy uh, into willing mode by just trading with him, which I will do, but sadly, guys, off camera. Yeah, I spent 
an entire season on Unity SMP doing villagers. So I hope you guys will excuse me for not going that in depth about it this time. I just honestly want this over with. But however, however, as naughty and, fr and as frustrating as breeding villagers ultimately is, you guys will absolutely love the actual reason why we want a villager breeder. And I'm pretty sure I already told you at one point. But uh, so this is not going to be much of a reveal. But let it at the very least serve as a reminder, or maybe even as a reveal for, to some of you who just are newcomers to the channel. We are making a zombie army, and the villager breeder is going to be our main way of getting the most efficient zombies at killing people, which are, of course, zombie babies. <laughs> Not only will we trap these guys into consistently producing new babies for us, we will also trap those babies into consistently becoming our tiny legions of death. Yep, that's, go uh, that's going to be a thing. I'm making it a thing from now on. It is a thing. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, sorry if it's not as eventful. I spent a lot of time, obviously, off camera. And also, I've been pretty busy this week. So I apologize again. Maybe next w week I'll have an episode. More uh, you know, more episodes in general. And more stuff happening there for you. But for now, that's going to be it for today. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. This has been Zloy XP. This has been Decidely Vanilla. To be continued. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Uh, and see you next time. All that kind of stuff. Run day and cut!